Hey everyone, how are you all doing today? We are going to tackle some serious messes around the house. I am bringing you along with me on an extreme clean with me as we get this situation all sorted out. This is going to be jam-packed with some extreme cleaning motivation and I hope that you guys enjoy this video so much. I would love nothing more than for you to get up and clean with me. I hope this is inspiring to you to tackle some things on your to-do list that you may have been putting off. So let's just get to cleaning and jump into the video. Afraid of heights and too much for sound, but oh, you make me numb like no one else. It's too much to calm me down. We are kicking today's video off in this disaster of a living room of mine. My kids have thrown all of the dirty laundry all over the place. I have all of the clean laundry on the couch that needs to be folded. There's trash on the floor, there's toys on the floor. So we're gonna pick everything up, get all of the laundry folded, get all the dirty laundry put back in the basket and get this living room straightened up and looking nice. Before we get too deep into the video, I just want to take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Bronte. I am a stay-at-home mom of two and I live in Las Vegas and I have tons of cleaning motivation on my channel every single week. So if that is something that you are into, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and set them to all if this is your first time stopping by. I would love for you to stick around and join my YouTube family. I also have some really fun home DIY videos on my channel every now and then. So don't forget to stick around for those as well. We are going to fold this laundry, we are going to get it all together, we're going to clean up the living room, and then we are going to move on to cleaning up the kitchen as well, because it's just as much of a hot mess as the living room is. Afraid of heights, and too much for sound, but oh, you make me numb, like no one else, it's too much to call me. going to be using the Method Anti-Back All-Purpose Cleaner in the Citron scent. It smells really great. It's a really refreshing scent and it's not super overpowering like a lot of the other Method scents. So I really love this cleaner. However, if you are looking for it to be disinfecting or antibacterial as it claims to be, you have to let it sit for 10 minutes. Today we are not going to do that. We're just speed cleaning our way through the house. So I'm just going to spray it on and wipe it off and I'm going to use this on pretty much all of the surfaces in my kitchen.
so today to clean the sink in the grate in the sink I'm just going to be using some hot water and some dish soap I am using the Dawn antibacterial dish soap in an apple scent and I'm just going to clean up the sink using that and a scotch bright dish rag that I use it has a scrubbing side and then it has a softer side for washing the dishes these things are awesome because you can wash them unlike a sponge and then I'm just going to work on cleaning up the rest of the kitchen luckily it's not too much of a disaster so it's not going to take too long but I love having a clean kitchen and I love having a clean living room. Is anybody else like that? Do you have certain rooms in your house that need to be cleaned for you to be less stressed out, stress-free if you will, and just to feel more at peace with your home? Let me know down below what rooms do you have to have cleaned? Mine are definitely the living room and the kitchen because those are the first rooms you see when you walk in our house. something a little bit different today I'm taking the gate off of the stairs so that I can actually really vacuum them well and we have these gates up on our stairs because my daughter is only two years old and she's still figuring out how to navigate the stairs well she's a little short so she can't hold on to the railing so we keep the gates on the bottom of the stairs and on the top of the stairs so she can't go unless she has one of us to try to eliminate her falling down the stairs and our stairs also serve as the collection area does anybody else have an area like this in their house ours has always been the stairs I always put stuff on the stairs in hopes that I'll actually bring it up and then I never actually do so today I am going to do that and I'm going to get everything all cleaned up, vacuum the stairs because nothing is better than some nice fluffy stairs with some really good carpet lines. And I'm using the Shark Rocket Vacuum. I love this vacuum. I love that it is corded because I don't have to worry about it being charged and it just works really well. It has really great suction power even though I've had it for over a year. So I highly recommend this vacuum if you are in the market for one. I have it linked down below in my Amazon storefront so be sure to check it out. I always link a bunch of stuff in my Amazon storefront if you are ever in need of ideas for your house, kid stuff, or any anything basically. So go and check it out. Moving on to cleaning upstairs, we are going to pick up the loft and then I'm going to move on to cleaning up my room. Luckily my room is not a huge mess, I just need to make my bed. Having a made bed is so motivating to me, so I'm going to get that done to give me some motivation to tackle the rest of the messes upstairs because my son's room is a complete disaster.
Like I said, it is a real big mess. It is a total disaster. It hasn't been cleaned up for days, so we're gonna clean everything up. I'm gonna reorganize his drawers a little bit, and then we are gonna move on from there, pick up everything that's on the floor, put all of the books away, put all of the Legos away, have him make his bed, and then we are gonna move on to cleaning up my daughter's room. Her room is a disaster, not because it's a mess, but just because we are in the middle of transitioning her from her crib to her big girl bed. So she has a crib in her room and she has her big girl bed in her room because she is scared to sleep in the big bed. So she's still sleeping in the crib. Anyways, we're gonna clean up my son's room and then we are gonna move on to her room and cleaning up the bathroom. veteran mamas have any tips for me on how to get my daughter to transition from the crib to her bed I would greatly appreciate that she is in the middle of potty training right now so that is why we thought it would be a good idea to put her in her big girl bed but she is scared to sleep in it so that's not really helping our cause so she's still sleeping in diapers at night we haven't even tried to nighttime train her because obviously if she's in the crib she can't get out easily to go potty so if you have any tips on how to get her to sleep in the big girl bed, that would be super amazing and very much appreciated. I will fight like no other every day. I won't stop like the others. I will stay. Moving on to cleaning up the kids bathroom, I am using Clorox Cleaner plus bleach spray to clean up the kids vanity, the sink, and I'm also going to be using this in the bathtub. And then I'm going to use that Method Anti-Back Spray on the kids toilet and I'm going to be using Clorox Bleach Clinging Gel to clean the toilet bowl. These are all some of my go-to cleaners and this Method Anti-Back Spray works really great in the bathroom as well as in the kitchen because it leaves the bathroom with a nice fresh scent. So we're just gonna get this bathroom all nice and clean. Usually I try to clean this a couple of times a week and this is the first cleaning of the week and it definitely, definitely needs it. So we're gonna tackle this bathroom, get it all nice and clean, get that bathtub all nice and clean for my little ones and get the toilet all nice and clean. 
We have these toilet seats from Home Depot that are super awesome because you have the option to keep the kids toilet seat on there or remove it when you no longer need it. I love these toilet seats. They have been a game changer for my kids going to the bathroom. They've been really helpful for potty training my daughter as well. So I'll have the toilet seats linked down below. You can just remove the kid portion of the seat when you no longer need it to just have a regular toilet seat. Moving on to my favorite part of cleaning, vacuuming. I love vacuuming. I find it so satisfying and so soothing. I really love to do it and I really love my shark vacuum. It makes vacuuming even better, gives it the greatest carpet lines ever. So highly, highly recommend this vacuum. I've already said it once today and I'm saying it again. That is how much I love this vacuum. So we are gonna vacuum my room, we're gonna vacuum the loft, and we're gonna vacuum the kids' rooms and get everything all nice and clean and dust free. I had been slacking on my cleaning around the house, so everything desperately needs to be vacuumed. It's super, super gross. The canister was getting filled so fast. I've just been really unmotivated to do anything since we've been stuck inside, and the weather has been super gloomy here this past week in Las Vegas, and it has just not helped get me motivated at all. So we are gonna tackle this. We are gonna get everything all vacuumed up and we are gonna get this house looking real nice and clean and looking how it is supposed to look and how it is supposed to stay. If you have enjoyed this video, please give this a huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me and spending time out of your day watching my video. I truly appreciate it more than you will ever know. So thank you guys. If this is your first time stopping by and you haven't already done so, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you never miss an upload. I hope that you guys have a super amazing day. Stay safe, stay well, and I will catch you in the next video. If you are in need of more cleaning motivation, there's some link down below in the description box as well as up here on this screen for you to click on. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day. Live